Okay, following up on the previous lecture on self-referential classes where we created a linked list dynamically and then we um, traversed it in what I would call a, a brute force manner. So what we're going to do in this video lecture is we're going to look at creation, we'll also look at traversal, and then we'll look at destruction. Destruction was another issue with the previous lecture uh, because anything that uh, we created with new, we did not uh, delete it. So we're going to take care of that. We're also going to look at more uh, general ways of um, creation and traversal and then finally destruction. And, and I'll do this kind of in three different panels uh, but all of this code is going to be in the same main function when you try this uh, out yourself. Now, of course, where we're going with this is we'll be developing a, um, a list class. All of this code will be encapsulated into methods in a list class. But we're just trying to get the basic mechanisms figured out uh, here. So, again, all of this is going to go in main. So you can experiment with it, play around with it, and then you can encapsulate it into methods, and we'll do that in later um, lectures. Okay, so I'm going to declare node pointer, and I'm going to make it point to a new dynamically allocated node object containing five. So that is going to give us the picture. Here's node pointer. And then we have five. And of course, this points to null. Now I'm going to create temp pointer just like before, except this time I'm going to use temp pointer in a slightly different and more general way. When you're, when you're creating these linked lists and these chains of nodes, you know, what you're, you're, always, you're almost always going to build them from, um, you know, the last node out. And so that means that you always have to have a pointer pointing to the last node in the chain. And, and that's how I'm going to use temp pointer here. So this will be um, a technique that you'll be able to use in... Uh, when you implement these routines in a, in a method, in a class, a list class. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating temp pointer and I'm just making it point to node pointer. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to change and use node pointer at all. And generally this is what you uh, want to do. This is the end of your kite string. And you, know, you never want to release uh, this, this thing that we call a head pointer and the head pointer always points to the first element of the list and as long as you maintain the integrity of that pointer to the first node of the list then you can get to all the other uh, elements of the list and and it's you know frequently we'll have another pointer in this case temp pointer that we use to actually do traversals that we actually use to add to the end of the list and things like that so now I'm going to contradict myself when we start destructing this list, we're going to use node pointer, but at the point of destruction, we don't really care, right? We don't care about the head pointer because we're destructing the list. But while we're building the list, while we're manipulating the list and things like that during the program execution, we always have to maintain the integrity of that head pointer. So I want to add another node on to the end, and I'm going to use temp pointer. I'm not going to use node pointer, so I can say temp pointer, set next pointer. So just like before, I'm calling the set next pointer on the node that temp pointer points to, which is 5, and I'm going to pass in new node 10, just like that. So new is going to go out, allocate memory for a node object, which includes an integer and a pointer. Then the constructor is going to execute, initialize the pointer to null, and assign the private data member 10. 
then new returns the address that gets passed into the set next pointer method of this node and we get this okay. now to set up I'm going to add another node here at this end and to set that up I need to advance temp pointer so you can see that temp pointer is always pointing to the last element of the list even if the list only has one element so to advance temp pointer I need to set it to the address of this node uh, so I can say temp pointer get next pointer just like that that is going to return this address and store it in temp pointer and so now this is what I have and I'm prepared to add another node here and I can do that using exactly the same code with slightly different parameters okay, and again allocate memory execute the constructor we get that that address is returned and passed into set next pointer of this object and we get this list and just to finish things off um, I'm going to advance temp pointer again so that we maintain this property of maintain this property during creation or construction of the list that temp pointer always points to the last element of the list okay and if if we wanted to add additional nodes we could keep going now usually you're not, you're not going to hard code um, things like this I mean maybe if it's something really small but normally this will be coming out of a file or this will be coming across a network connection or something like that and you can already see a pattern here where uh, we could we could put this into a loop and we would be able to create uh, linked lists of arbitrary length okay. so this is going to be to to be continued on the next slide and what we're doing now is we're going to look at how we would traverse this linked list.